No idea when, but one year. I want to get to try checking out going to Insomnia, but the biggest problem for me is it's going to be a lot more expensive than just getting tickets, because that requires flying over to the UK. But it does sound like a fun thing, to, a fun event to go to that I would hope to go to. I didn't even, I completely forgot, and I was totally oblivious to the fact that my vlog was just started by me talking about what I want to go to Insomnia, so I'll give more proper welcome to the vlog. I got this stupid like little freaking fuzzy fuzz on my head now from sleeping with my hair up. And I got these blisters. The one right here, I popped. I know that might sound a little weird, like, I don't know what people actually do with blisters, but I was literally like, hmm, popped it open, and it came back. It's not as crazy freaking big as it was, but it still came back. And then there's my thumb, as you can tell, did not turn out that well. So, yeah. All right, we're getting up. I actually don't remember what woke me up this morning. Um... Don't remember. It might have been one of my alarms on my iPod that went off. Anyway, I was up fairly decent last night. When I say that, though, I'm talking like I was up till 11:50. Thanks to Riley and him yapping around last night, I'm now going to watch the trailer and then just watch a bunch of videos on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Me loving British culture and all that stuff, I completely forgot this game is based off of London and the main characters, Jacob and Evie Fry, are British. I think Jacob is my second favorite character right next to Ezio. It's a, it's a, it's a close tie. I have to play the games and then make my final decision. Because I've yet to play any of the games that have either characters. I've only played Black Flag. Little sisters like to do to the dog. Apparently she doesn't care though. Look at you! You're adorable. To satisfy my needs from a couple days, two nights ago, and find a movie to throw in. Uh, let's not put that back there. We got a huge selection, and I think Saturday I'm going to see Fate of the Furious with Riley. So I could watch the other, because I've right in between the other movies. I've seen the first and the seventh, and I should probably, I think it'd be nice. I could just try and binge watch the other, the ones in between. Or, I could continue The Walking Dead. But I don't know if I'm feeling that. I don't know. I gave in. I'm just going to continue The Walking Dead. I don't care, though. I'm in a good spot-ish. Oh my goodness, I've never been so excited to see an actor on one of my favorite TV shows. It's Oswald Cobblepot from Gotham. That makes me so excited. This is new. Okay, let me see it. No. So we got basically volleyball and a trampoline while you're playing like monkey in the middle <laughs> slash volleyball slash uh, <laughs> keep away. Holy crap, guys. I just watched the teaser trailer for uh, The Last Jedi. I'm really looking forward to it. Another Christmas thing to look forward to because it's coming out again. This December, that's pretty cool that they kept that consistency. Hopefully it's actually good and that'll make the mistake Ubisoft made for a few years of Assassin's Creed where the yearly thing didn't make the best of some of the games. But, you know, I'm going to call it right now the fact that it's The Last Jedi and they kind of emphasized the title. Besides Carrie Fisher's, you know, Princess Leia probably going to be disappearing, rest in peace. I also think we might see the end of Luke Skywalker sadly and I'm a huge Star Wars fan so you know I'm not like I'm just I'm not saying that like I don't know these characters I've known Star Wars I've been a Star Wars fan for five years so I know I sound like a bit of an amateur compared to others but you know I started liking Star Wars when I was in second grade and the movie started way before whenever you know they were all out whenever I started liking them so you know still though I'm really looking forward to it all right now, I'm just going to take some time and watch one of my favorite films, which I can't skip to. By the way, I'm watching the second Transformers, because that's my favorite movie. Alright, so I failed to watch Transformers. Uh, so I'm going to have to watch that. Instead, I nailed down two more episodes of Walking Dead, so the next episode, 
I'm on, or the next episode will be episode 8. So I'm holy, I'm almost halfway through the freaking season and within two couple days, so that's one successful thing I've gotten done through this little Easter break that our school has given us, is I've gotten to nail down some of The Walking Dead, but I think I'm going to go outside and just play some guitar. Well, I don't think that should be there. So, um, it's been a while since I've been down in our little woods that we have. Oh, crap. Well, I hope that was farther away than it sounds. <laughs> um, let's take a little stroll down our woods and just do some scouting and just take it in because I never actually get to walk down there. Bring back memories to good old Dead Within before it was no longer a thing. Oh, it's just a squirrel. <laughs> He's crouching down. Oh, it's just a stupid squirrel. Huh. Oh. You know, Dead with an Ever becomes a thing again in the near future, or not so much near future, but in the future, you know, if we can make more out of FFP, I definitely think, of course, we're going to use these woods, because where else is better than for a zombie apocalypse than the woods, the birthplace of survival. If we were filming, today would be an excellent day, unless we needed to get rainy, especially in these woods, because it's well, really well cleared out. Um, I'm walking through, it's a bit of a small section, as like I said, but like there's little pathways that I'm walking through that I could never, never could because uh, there was just a lot of bush and I don't know if they died because of winter or if one of the neighbors took them down and it's not really like, I kind of said it's kind of part of everyone's property so even that was some neighbors so we wouldn't give two craps curious who did that. As in productive as I've been today, sitting on my butt watching The Walking Dead and just now at least walking out in the woods, I could, there's so many things that I totally would do. I can only think of one right now, which would be, um, realist, making our little prop guns a bit more realistic, doing some painting to it, but we don't have any stuff. There's a bunch of things that if we, if I had what I needed, I could be very productive. It would be in my own way, which would be for filmmaking, but it would still be productive. Sometimes question my dad's own responsibility when he has his one phone, his personal phone sitting right here on this chair, and his work phone sitting up there. I understand his one phone sitting up there, but even that, like, I would have my my phone on me most times, if not in my room, but, like, he has his own personal phone right there, and his work phone up there, and he's up there in his bedroom. It doesn't make 100% sense to me. If he loses it, I'm gonna not even tell him. I'll just let it sit there and hope he sits on it. And I hope that some of you know that when I say that, I'm like doing it in a joking way and not like in a complete brat, like, oh, this is what you get for nothing you want. No, I'm doing that in just a bit of a joking around way and not like, again, and not like I'm being a brat to him. It's so dark out and it's only eight o'clock. Okay. Ow. We're at the gas station. Hold Hi, Lynn. No. I have here what is shaped like a mini champagne bottle, but it's clearly gold peak. Alright, guys, I'm at my grandpa's, and I think he's already asleep. So, I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.